To get started we will insert the Meta Defender drive into the suspect machine's USB port. Then while restarting the machine we will enter the BIOS and boot from this USB drive. You should see the system reboot and begin to start the Meta Defender drive user interface. Once booted, click on Agree button on OpSWAT End User License Agreement pop up. Next you will see the screen detailing the current engine update status. If the Meta Defender drive is connected to the internet, click on Check for Online Updates, and it will reach out to OpSWAT servers to gather the most recent definition updates for your installed engines. Alternatively, Meta Defender Drive can also work in air-gapped environments by utilizing OpSWAT tools to download the definition updates as files and placing them on the Meta Defender Drive prior to boot. We could enter the recovery key or password by hand. It should also be noted that Meta Defender Drive always mounts partitions as read only to ensure it does not modify the file system it is analyzing. Alternatively, we also can place the recovery key on the Meta Defender Drive file system and this machine will automatically utilize the key and unlock the partition. Then you will see the screen offering the ability to perform a full scan or custom scan. A full scan will begin to process the entire machine for malware, sensitive data, and known vulnerabilities. Custom scan allows you to more selectively designate which files and folders you would like to process. For the purpose of time management, I will select a single test folder to display the full range of Meta Defender Drive's detection abilities. We are now taken to a screen showing the scan in progress. There is a running indicator on the right where it shows log messages as it finds suspicious files. Once the scan is finished, we will move onto the report screen. On the report screen we can see the unique ID the Meta Defender Drive has assigned this scan. In addition, the dashboard shows the high-level stats of what was discovered about this machine. Here you can see the number of malware files containing sensitive data and containing known vulnerabilities. Below is a drop-down menu that allows you to toggle between these sections to gather more information about the specifics of each file. We will select the malware section and expand one of these files. Here we can see each malware engine and how it classified the threat contained in the files. Next we select files with known vulnerabilities from the drop down. As we expand a file entry, we can see each of the publicly disclosed CVEs that are associated with this file. This allows you to assess any software running or installed on this machine that could provide easy access into your network once connected. Next we select files that contain sensitive data from the drop down. As we expand a file entry, we can see OpSwat's DLP engine has identified some questionable patterns in the file such as credit card numbers, social security numbers, and IP addresses. Finally, it is possible to program your regular expressions to check for keywords and codenames that are organization specific. All of this information is written to a physical file on the Meta Defender Drive NTFS partition which contains the report details. Reports are available in PDF, text, or machine-readable JSON. This concludes our technical demonstration of the Meta Defender Drive. If you have further questions or would like to receive a trial unit for a try, please reach out to OpSWAT Sales on our website, email, or social media.